day in the life. Uh, it's been a while since I've filmed one of these, and it's been a while since I've started a game. It's been a long time, baby. Long time. The last time I did a day in the life was preseason against Brunas, and today I'm starting against Brunas, but we're on the road. Last time I got a shout out doing this, so I figured, figured I'll, I'll test my luck again. But I just left the Lexan Medical Center. Fox is getting uh, a tooth pulled out today, so I'm glad I was able to be there for for about an hour when they got the whole thing started. But yeah, I feel I feel terrible. I don't know if I could be there when they're doing that. So shout out to Whitney for doing the mom duty and parent duty for taking a taking a bullet for me on that. But I'm just on my way to to morning skate. So quick 15, 20 minutes on the ice to get loosened up and then I'll go pick them up from the dentist and a little bit of time to eat lunch and then it's back to the rink and meetings and, and bus to Yem. How'd it go at the dentist? Good. <laughs> I don't think so. That's not what I heard. You were too much trouble and they couldn't get your tooth out. So now the tooth fairy can't come. But other than that, I guess you were good. But I just had lunch. Um, just got like hour and a half at home before I gotta go back. Back the bags, had a meeting and then hit the bus and I'm just gonna relax. Try to fuel up, hydrate, uh, eat good foods and all that kind of stuff to uh, to kind of rest up and energize. And I'm gonna try to nap on the bus. Usually I sleep at two, but bus leaves 2.45. So I'm gonna have to push that back a little bit. Before I leave, uh, just like the goals, my focus, my plan for the game is to just be alert. Full focus, 100%. Uh, every situation, just be alert. I think that's the biggest thing for me. And, when you're alert, you're in the moment, you're reading the play, you know what's going on, and you kind of allow yourself to tap into the flow state of mind. I'm just a goalie. There's a lot of other guys playing the game, so I can't go in the game expecting and demanding to win. I just, you know, one shot at a time. That's, you know, you've heard me say that before, but one shot at a time. As long as I'm performing at my best, I know I'm, I'm set up for a good performance and set up for a good result so but the result comes from one shot at a time and as long as i'm alert and ready for every shot or the next shot uh, that's going to build up a good result today's video is sponsored by manscaped and their brand new beard hatcher it's time to throw away that bulky beard trimmer with dull blades and bunch of attachments you don't need and upgrade to the manscaped beard hatcher trimmer to take your beard game to the next level. Whether you like a tight shave or you have a thick beard, this titanium coated blade can cut through the thickest of hair and the Beard Hedger's guard has 20 different hair lengths, so you only need one attachment. With up to 60 minutes of runtime, the trimmer is waterproof, cordless and rechargeable, so you can trim in the shower to save time and create less mess. Guys, I'm so impressed. It did so good. Safe, smooth, just unbelievable. Start looking good, feeling good, and playing good and get 20% off, free shipping. Go to manscaped.com, use the code CAS, that's K-A-Z, and join over 7 million people worldwide using Manscaped.
svensk ishockeyklassiker. Gävle Dala derbyt ifrån Monitor ERP Arena i Gävle Brynäs mot Leksand. Ut. Första teckningen mellan Johan Larsson och Kalle Östman. Top Kato Östman. Det ska kollas om det är mål det där. Visst, den sitter inne i ribban. Men en Greg Scott kommer, ligger den för Timmarshov och Kaski som är en ny viktig räddning. Vilken matchstart han har fått. Helsing Johansson spelar snålt och läge kommer och kriteringen också för Nico Olesen. Nummer ett överlägg för Brynäs. William Strömgren håller i. Skelenitska skjuter. Och då ner i Brynäs. Inte med pucken under kontroll, men den är i närheten i alla fall. Strömgren i backläge nu för Johannesson som kommer ett nytt avslut. Och pucken är nära att lira in och den går över. Kommer ett avslut där. Och Kaskeso får inte grepp på pucken och där är den över mållinjen. Det är ju solklart. Kato in i mitten och mål av Jesper Kandegård som reducerar för läxan. Strömgen och med sig timmar körde borta. Strömgen in i mitten och skjuter. Och Brynäs gör fyra på genom William Strömgen. Här kanske det kommer ett definitivt avgörande så blir det. Brynäs vinner. Tar sin tredje rad. I had to take a couple days to get a realistic recap, I guess, because um, obviously I was I was pretty frustrated. I'm just very sick of playing well and not getting the results. And I know the last couple videos I've mentioned about the stats and keeping track of the realistic performance, like if there is super bad, tough games and uh, how I'm actually playing, and then kind of. Seeing that things are maybe as bad as they seem and things are maybe not as good as they seem. So just trying to find that realistic performance. But in, at the end of the day, it's been what was it, like three games now, three starts in a row. It's been four goals, but I, I feel like I play good hockey and it's just been very unlucky. Probably the unluckiest stretch, maybe unluckiest season I've had on my whole career. So it's the own goals, it's the pucks bouncing in, it's just... Uh, just just can't seem to catch a break and it's it's uh, it's frustrating because obviously I can sit here and be happy about well I, I played well I felt good and performed well and it was just tough goals but at the end of the day that doesn't that doesn't give me a contract next year and that doesn't pay for the mortgage and the bills so uh, it's it's tough it's it's a results based business and hockey is a business so uh, yeah but like I said I'm still gonna be realistic about the performance and be happy of the things I did. I felt like it was a good game in the end. Obviously tough goals, like the first goal was um, like one timer from the slot after our turnover and our, uh, he, he, he tried to shoot a glove side or that's the, that's the read I got on it. And I think he kind of missed the puck in the shot. So it went, went blocker side. So those are really tough plays when you're you know, playing with my instincts and uh, obviously, it's a, it's a tough play to begin with, and the next next two goals are just, you know, tip-ins, redirections. The first one, the guy is jumping in front of me, hits his shin pads, and ends up going in. And then the other one was a was a, was a good tip, and just found its way behind me and just went across the line. So uh, that's just kind of the stuff I'm, I'm talking about with with the bad luck, and then. Then the fourth goal again, kind of a two-on-one late in the game, and then he gets to uh, cross the middle line and come pretty close, and just ended up beating me. So that was frustrated with that one. Obviously, it was a one-goal game at that point, but playing good, but you know now it has to lead into results as well, and I I can see from the bench that we we play really good games, and I'm like. Uh, I wish I was playing this one and hopefully take advantage of that. So, um, so all I can do is prepare and uh, keep keep working hard and preparing for the for the next opportunity, the next start, and hopefully hopefully I'll get one of those one of those games where the team is playing playing well and playing good defense and 
uh, yeah, just gotta be ready for that and take advantage of that when I get a chance. But the biggest thing is to stay positive. Um, you know, there's still still a lot of hockey left and it's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. So I'm keeping that in mind and when when the stakes are getting high, I know I know I'll be I'll be ready to go to help the team and try to get better every day, find that 1% on all the little things, was it whether it's vision training and nutrition, sleeping well and doing my mobility stuff and then lifting and doing bike exercises or all that kind of stuff. And when I'm not playing that much, I think the biggest thing for me is street practice like a game and you know, battle for every puck and try to stop all the pucks at practice. No, it won't happen, but that's the mindset I gotta have. Just men have fallen in love with you. That was beautiful, baby. Okay, bye. <laughs> she, I think she's more addicted to Elvis than we are. I think we watched the we watched the movie for about twenty times. It's once or twice every day. But the day in the life video today a little different. Um, yeah, I was hoping hoping this would be better luck for the game, but <laughs> we'll keep we'll keep trying. I got a bunch of new merch, some new designs for a limited time out now. Check the links in the description, and then uh, the vision training, the PTP bands. Make sure to check those out and take your game to the next level. But that's gonna wrap up the video. I want to thank you guys for for hanging out and watching. I know uh, we'll we'll get out of this, and it's off to uh, brighter and better days. And you know, just gotta keep keep grinding it out and. Um, yeah, stay positive. That's the biggest thing. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and I'll, I'll see you very soon.